I noticed like from day one that he has this very nice Nespresso coffee maker in his office and how he really enjoys like having coffee. Dr. Friedman said, I'm going to donate my espresso machine. So he brought his own espresso machine and the coffee machine that he donated is in his own office. He's got the little machine and it's just finished, right? And he goes, oh, I thought you knew for sure. And he takes this little sip. Only the select few get to get, get offered an espresso, yeah. Really? If he likes it. So yeah. At some point, he actually says, oh, you're always going to leave my, my office with, with something. <laughs> It's either water or knowledge, but never coffee. <laughs> the key with Shimon is that he's a definitely outside the box thinker. If I was in clinic and I and I went around and showed a case to nine different attendant instructors, nine would give me roughly the same answer, and he would be the completely different. He's very much like I.B. Bender, both I.B. and Shimon uh, challenge the conventional wisdom, the status quo. Uh, they ask uh, penetrating questions and challenge their students to become original thinkers. For him, there is no a middle point. Everything needs to be excellent, and you follow that path. You know, as dean, it's, it's great to be proud of our faculty members, and there's no question I'm so proud of Shimon and his accomplishments. He started the first specialty program in endodontics in Canada, and being at a research-intensive university, he knew that it's not only important to have outstanding clinical training for his residents, and he certainly did that. He also knew the importance of creating knowledge and of conducting research, and he did that oh so well. This is clearly a well-deserved honor for Shimon, and Shimon, we are proud of you. What you see with Shimon is what you get, and he's very honest with his students. Uh, if they need instruction, he would be the first to say so, only because he wants them to be better. The fingers and everything was always uh, a way of him thinking. And then this was always, um, he would never answer right away. So, mm, I have to think for a minute and then make a statement, the, the little ticks. Yeah. Like everyone else, I also have got this once in a while from Dr. Friedman, so, but stay away from this action. He's very passionate about teaching and it goes much more beyond what's said in the classroom. Like anyone can come into the classroom say something, go home and forget about it, but that's not him. He just takes teaching to a different level. I think Dr. Friedman is such a great educator because he's very, very approachable and he always wants to teach you what the right thing to do is. Dr. Friedman sets high, very high expectations about us as, as residents and I appreciate that. He, he can be pushy, he wants us in, in the next level, he wants us to be skillful, fine clinicians, detail-oriented, so, yes. Shimon, I'd like to congratulate you on this momentous occasion, on being named the recipient of the AAE 2018 IB Bender Lifetime Educator. Congratulations, Shimon, on receiving the highest honor of the AAE. You are a great teacher, mentor, and friend, and I cannot think of anyone else that deserves this award more. Simon, I'm so happy that the endodontic community is recognizing you with this important award. All the best. My heartiest congratulations for you uh, in getting this Lifetime Achievement Award. Many congratulations. Simon, I want to extend my personal congratulations to you for an award well deserved for so many years of being one of the best endodontists that I know. From the bottom of my heart, I, I, I just can't think of no other person that deser deserves this award, this IB Bender uh, Lifetime Educator Award, than you. You truly, truly deserve it. You uprooted your life and you came to Canada and you've created a whole new world for Canadian endodontics. Thank you for all of your time, effort and uh, patience over all the years. And I appreciate uh, everything I've learned from you and the award is well deserved. From Queen of Portugal, I want to send a deep word of gratitude. Muito obrigado. I feel privileged to have done my undergrad studies under him, and I can't think of anyone more deserving for this award. I would like to congratulate Dr. Friedman for this award and hope that he continues to spread his message in our profession for many years to come. Blessing and wishes for many, many years full of health, joy, love, and peace. First, I congratulate all those receiving awards today. For some, the award is an encouragement to continue their excellent work. 
For others, it is a recognition of a lifetime's accomplishments. Regardless of the specific award, I applaud all recipients for the merits. I also applaud the AAE for setting up these awards to inspire and recognize excellence. I am extremely honored today to have my name associated with that of Dr. I.B. Bender, whom I had known for nearly 15 years. His openness, humor, and critical approach had inspired me in my career as an educator. I also am honored by having my name added to the roster of distinguished past recipients. I want to take this opportunity to speak to the rewards and the responsibilities of dedicating one's career to being an educator. While, as educators, we aim to elevate the knowledge and skills of individual students, our impact carries over to tens of thousands of people our students will treat during their careers. Being given this great responsibility to impact on the quality of care for so many has been most gratifying for me. I want to impress upon you that as a full-time educator, one is abundantly rewarded by great impact and responsibility while still being able to reap the joys of practicing endodontics part-time. My life as a full-time educator in three different countries and institutions has been made easy by many friendly and supportive colleagues as well as brilliant and highly driven students. All my past and present colleagues and students are close to my heart. Thanks to them, education has been a labor of love for me. Finally, I want to recognize the sacrifices of my family who have tolerated my passion for work for so long. I'm extremely grateful to my three amazing daughters and my incredible spouse, Dr. Tuan Dao, for allowing me to indulge in my passion and to make it a priority. I share this award with them as it was their sacrifices that made it possible for me to be recognized today. I thank you all and wish you a wonderful time in the remainder of this annual session.